Good morning, Steve, your daily shaver. This morning, I am going to find out whether Filmic Pro has fixed their problem. I've updated to the new version of iOS 9.02 for the iPhone and installed the new 5.02 Filmic Pro. And now I'm about to find out if it was all gonna happen because it hasn't happened before. This morning, I'm gonna shave with Don Donatello. It's a old barber set. Um, very mild, but, you know, after shave supposed to last, shaving creams, this has to be nice. I've um, used a hot towel on my face and just spritzed. Helps wake you up when you really otherwise wouldn't be awake. Now this morning the discussion is, I've mentioned it before, as about the possibility that it's fake. Or a waste of your money, and that is the laser razor. Now Reddit have a large um, article contributed by very knowledgeable people in the area of um, uh, optics and the general consensus is you've done your day. You'll never see a working product um, the one bit that shows a fine filament cutting things now for my razor I've just got the crystal blade second use inside my Delta Echo Slim. And I think it's about after yesterday's shave on a way more aggressive setting, I'm just going to open up the doors and adjust it up to say five. Right. So the thing's raised over $2 million with, you know, a time scale that if you had a working product, you'd still be hard pressed to deliver it in the one that they're promising. And from all the info available, they don't actually have a working product. They see on the one bit that shows a fine filament cutting things, you see how long it takes them to get that fine filament near their hair? They must be telling the person, don't jump, don't jump, because they seem to be awful worried about cutting their hair. Uh, look, we know what cuts, okay? Uh, to get light to cut, you have certain limitations. One, your eye is a good receptor of light, and if you screw up, you can kill your eyesight. Now, something that kills your eyesight, I'm not prepared to go blind to shave. Um, other thoughts are that uh, the fine filament they're showing will be easily broken, that it's just an LED sitting in a um, thing uh, and no such light frequency actually exists and that light itself has every frequency and if light itself with that particular frequency could stop hair from growing, we'd all be hairless. So it is an interesting argument. Now I do know that um, lasers for hair removal, etc., do exist. They've got to be done by trained professionals. They're linked up to huge machines that take a lot of power. And if you screw up, ouch. Um, this is supposed to run off an AA or AAA battery. N not going to happen. Not ever going to happen. Uh, Star Wars um, will happen before this happens. Um, so to anybody with money in it, before it ends, cancel it, get your money out. Um, uh, don't think you should uh, gamble um, hundreds of dollars, you know, on dreams and fairy tales. Unfortunately, uh, Kickstarter is a good idea and it's equivalent. Kickstarter recently changed the company format to a for-profit um, socially aware, in other words, they've got a social component as well as a profit component, which given the sort of demographic they're after, but they're after being fair and kind and generous to everybody, LGBT, A, B, C, D, you know, um, they're going to be uh, deliberately inclusive of everybody and whatever, or generally speaking, that's code for me is get your money out fast. Um, 
Oh, yeah. Satan looks after his own. So, you know. And they mean well. Yeah. The thing is, when you disim 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 when you um, uh, choose between two people and you decide to positively discriminate, that's the word I was trying to get out, positively discriminate, you've discriminated against someone else. Um, universities have this problem, okay? In order to get up the number of black people, they have to positively discriminate um, to get more black people into university in America. In Australia, is never much of a problem, but I have seen it. I've seen people, Aboriginal descent. Um, uh, now, I've met some, two brothers, two Aboriginal brothers. One guy was my neighbour, went out to the same university. He should have done steps, preparation for university, and he would have dropped out of that. Instead, they signed him up for university, and they gave him books, and they, you know, made it real easy for him to pass. He collected the extra money for going to university for about six months. He stopped going after three, and about nine months later, he dropped out. Okay, having collected all the money, given all the opportunity, nothing. He leaves the house, and because he had a um, uh, bond um, contract, you know, um, his brother took it over. His brother moved in, got himself a job at the local bottling plant, and uh, now... It's almost like you couldn't believe there were two brothers. The other brother uh, made sure his kids went to school. And if he had the opportunity to go to university, I have no doubt, except he was too busy working, I have no doubt that he would have um, stuck at it and passed. I've never seen a more conscientious person in the world. And they were two brothers. Now, this is true of almost every family. The problem with um, positive discrimination is... It's discrimination. <laughs> the whole point of discrimination is to get rid of discrimination. And I know the arguments for keeping it. Um, problem is, things like that, things that don't exist in nature naturally, if you're going to do them, need to have expiry dates. You know, so we'll positively discriminate for, say, 10 or 20 years. Then it'll expire. Then it's back to merit. And it so happens that if merit means everybody who goes is... White, middle-aged, and whatever, fine. If they're all male, fine. If it turns out to be all short, hairy um, people, great. If it turns out to be all women of Asian descent, brilliant. As long as they have the marks and the skills, I'm in favour of it. You know? Um, but, inevitably, and nothing's really fair. I mean, you know, you can't tell me all the people that um, go to university um, or college or whatever it's called, wherever you are, um, got in on merit. They'll all take your money. So if you can get it on money, you can get it on the coattails and you can pass. We've had students in Australia being passed that can't even read and write <laughs> at university level. Foreign students, particularly, because they put so much money into our educational system, they daren't, mm, they daren't um, get rid of them. Anyway, how do I get onto this from the laser razor? Well, the laser razor's a con, most likely. I don't think we'll ever see a small device that small capable of shaving us safely, ever. I don't think, you know, pop your head in the microwave. Gets rid of all the hair, does your head at once. But, you know, for those that are dreamers and got more money than me and can afford to take the risk pie in the sky, they could be the next Steve Jobs. But there's nothing on the um, information they got that the equations are straight out of a textbook on the blackboard behind them. Um, which I kind of figured because I knew a little bit about quantum physics and which optics bumps into. And I was looking at the equations and went, you know, there's no working out here for anything that shows that it's going to work. These are just straight out um, text proofs. It turns out when I did a little research, someone else agreed and pointed out that, you know, now I get that they all got secrets trying to protect, you know, 
I think the secret is, and I was just thinking how easy to be to scam um, a lot of people. I mean, Kickstarter, once they've passed their superficial goal, are going to hand over the money. I don't know there's much in the way of checks and balances for where it goes or what it does. Yesterday shaved with the um, Rockwell. Was so close. I have very light growth today. Yeah, that's enough. I won't be shaving on the five or six again. I did it. I proved that I am up to my word of shaving with almost, and I say almost anything. I mean, I held a bare blade against my face. That's proved that point. But uh, I couldn't have Rico ahead of me on points on having tried to shave with the higher end ones but yeah he got more cuts minor ones so i got just one big one and um, on this cheek actually so uh, what do i think about um razor rock well i have to actually go and get myself some um italian barber um their own home brand stuff it's even cheaper but i'm guessing it's very much like this and i love it that is a nice scent. You could put almost anything on top of it and it'd be brilliant. Um, it's a, you know, if you haven't got some, you're going to get some. It's probably one of the cheapest, best value shaving soaps. Um, a single tub like, oops, a single tub like this is probably good for, ooh, nearly a year, six months to a year, if you only had one soap. So there's enough there to keep me going through probably seven years of plenty and seven years of drought. I'm Steve, your daily shaver. Remember, good food, good friends, good shaves, amen. Um, if you followed me this far, you... Oh, by the way, I... Edit. People are liking my videos. Stop immediately. Please dislike videos. You see, I don't like people disliking my videos. So, to hide the people disliking my videos, I want everybody to dislike my videos so I can take all my dislikes as likes. Now, people are liking my videos and they're liking them at such a rate that um, I can see my dislikes, right? Um, you know, they, I'm getting more likes than dislikes so, you know, someone's watching. But please, please, if you heard me say it before, let me say it again, please dislike my videos. Um, I want everybody to dislike my videos. You're forbidden to like them. Forbidden. Nain. Yes, good food, good friends, good shaves, amen. Remember, while it's nice to be important, it's far more important to be nice. Be sure to dislike. Good shaves and goodbye.